Hi, I'm Sarah and today I'm going to show you some of my favorite bars here in New York City from rooftop bars to more casual, relaxing environments. I'm going to cover everything today. So let's begin our journey through New York City's bar scene. to the Empire State Building or the Freedom Tower to get an incredible view of New York. You can have it in a bar. One of the best bars to have an amazing view of the city is here at the Skylark. It's practically 360 view all through Midtown and they make high quality craft cocktails here as well. This is a great bar to come see the view of New York City and enjoy a delicious drink. You can't do that at the Empire State Building, can you? Deep in the heart of Chinatown, you're going to find one of this area's most unique bars. This is called Apothic and it has a potions vibe in it, like a chemistry lab. Their menu is really unique because it's based on what effects the cocktails have on you. So you can choose from health and beauty, painkillers, stimulants, aphrodisiacs, euphoric enhancers, or stress relievers. And it's really, really interesting. One of my favorite bars in, in New York City. Here at Crocodile Lounge, you can get a free pizza with every drink you order. I mean, talk about saving money in New York. What better way to do it than here? The drinks aren't that expensive and the pizza's delicious. They also have games in the back like ski ball and hunting games. Really great place to save some money, but also have a really good time in New York City. So I got my drink, which is happy hour price, $6, and a free pizza. That is such a good deal. garden bar here in New York and this place is a lovely place for an urban escape from New York. You truly feel like you've left the city when you're here. They have a really unique atmosphere with gardens, they have a walking pathway, empty train car that you can sit in. In the summer it turns into a garden but in the winter it's a lodge so no matter what time of year Gallup Green is a really cool place to come. I see a lot of locals coming here after work. I'm here at Rudy's. It's a historic dive bar here in New York City and this place is known to be rumored to be the first speakeasy in 1919. They also received the first liquor license when prohibition ended in 1933. It's been known to be a hangout spot for many celebrities including Steely Dan, Paul McCarthy, Julia Roberts, Lauren Hill and Drew Barrymore among many others but this place is very popular for a completely different reason and and I'm gonna have Louis from Recipes with Louise which is a show within my channel talk about it because this is his favorite place. Hot dogs. That's it. For any drink that you get here you could actually get one hot dog. My favorite meal by the way. It's really a great place to bring someone for a first date. I don't know if it's going to be successful guys, but, but also the prices are very competitive, especially in the Times Square area. You can get drinks for like $4, $5, really, really good prices. So I would recommend coming here. Let's get out of So they have their own beers at $3 a pint. Uh, it's a Rudy's Blonde and a Rudy's Red Ale. Pretty good, not bad. One of the most beautiful bars here in New York is Jimmy at the James. I personally love this place because they have a rooftop pool and they make incredible cocktails using fresh ingredients that are grown from their own organic gardens. Jimmy at the James is a contemporary interpretation of a classic pub with a 1970s New York twist. Cocktails are based on classic American interpretations, each expertly prepared using syrups and bitters made in-house, fresh squeezed juices, and garnishes and herbs that are picked fresh from their organic garden. When you're up here, they have both an inside and an outside. I'm here at the outside, but on the inside area, they not only have a fireplace, which is incredibly unique to a rooftop bar, but they also have 14-foot windows with panoramic views of Midtown, Wall Street, the Hudson River, and bridges that span all the way to the East River. So no matter where you are here, Jimmy the James, it's absolutely beautiful rooftop views. 
I'm here at the Lately on 16th Street between 9th and 8th Ave. And they have a really chill, laid back atmosphere in the center of the club district. They also serve fresh cocktails and beer on tap. I got a mezcal cocktail, which is my favorite. And as you can tell, I finished the whole thing already before we even filmed this section. <laughs> That's how good it was. On the edges, they have a smoked salt, which was a really nice touch. They also have grilled cheese, different snack items. But one of the coolest parts about this bar is that there is a speakeasy club in the back corner called Blue Light. Just a really interesting spot. Of course, I can't talk about New York's bar scene without mentioning speakeasies. Now, if you see my other videos, you know that I love speakeasies here in New York, especially Please Don't Tell. That's one of my favorites, but there are tons of others. Some of the other great ones are Rain's Law Room, Bathtub, Gin, and Employees Only. They really serve excellent cocktails. I mean, these will be the best cocktails you can find. By the way, if you don't know what a speakeasy is, it's a secret bar. Back in the 1920s, alcohol was actually illegal here in the United States. So in order to continue drinking, because who's gonna give that up, right? They created hidden bars that required passwords to get in. So a lot of these speakeasies require a password or in general are just hard to find. But if you want to get into Please Don't Tell, head over to my video on secret spots in New York and I show you the way that you can guarantee a reservation there. It's hard to get in, so if you follow my steps, you can do it. Here at the Garrett, they have a taco bar and also serve cocktails such as a charred pineapple jalapeno margarita that's frozen. They also have a watermelon cilantro frozen margarita. And the cool part about their tacos, it's more of a gourmet style. They make their own tortillas here. And I just ate here with a Guatemalan, a Mexican, and a Puerto Rican. And all of them said these tacos are legit. So I feel like though maybe I'm not qualified to say the tacos are legit, just saying they said they're legit. So great tacos, great refreshing cocktails for summer here at the Garrett. Thanks for joining me on my bar crawl through New York City. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to enjoy this delicious cocktail. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Sarah Funky, and I will see you next time. Cheers to that, right? The video's done. I finally drink this. Ha <laughs>